Well, the main point of this report is to identify the disconnect in risk perceptions between Europe and Turkey and to try and identify the ways in which Turkey, which is frequently seen in Europe as being a source of risk, can actually be a risk mitigator for Europe over the, the long term. And we have a, a taxonomy, a list, if you will, of a number of global risks which the Global Risk Network has identified in conjunction with its partners. We try to apply some of that framework to Turkey. Can you elaborate on some of those risks that are uh, dealt with in the report? Sure. Uh, another, there are a number of areas where we think that Turkey has a, a strong risk mitigating role to play. Um, one of them, for example, is in energy security, uh, which is a major, major risk for Europe going forward for the next 10, 20 years. Um, one only has to look at what happened uh, last Christmas between Russia and Ukraine to, to see just what an incredibly important issue this is. And Turkey has a really very, very key role to play here as a transit country, not just for oil, but actually more importantly for gas. This is a, a real key strategic role for Turkey in mitigating one of the, the top risks that we identify to, for, for Europe. I believe the report also mentions um, demographic uh, risks that Europe is facing. What, what role can Turkey play in that? Well, Turkey can play many, many different roles. I think it's important to understand this is a very much, this kind of cuts both ways in the sense that uh, in Europe there's a real fear factor identified by participants in our workshops, which is a fear that were Turkey to join the European Union, for example, there'd be a, a very large wave of, of migration um, to, to Western Europe. Now, whether that's true or not, um, we think that Turkey has a, has a potentially very strong mitigating role to play in making up for um, Europe's um, aging population, or indeed as providing, or indeed as being a, a, um, a haven for high return investments, which will allow European taxpayers to pay for, for future generations' health care and, and social security. How does this report compare to the recent findings uh, of the EU regarding Turkey? Well, it's very important to understand that we're really trying to do something a little bit different. The idea is not to engage in the debate about whether Turkey should be a member of the European Union or, or not. That's not for the forum to do. What we're trying to do is really to, to raise our eyes to these broader strategic questions, to these broader um, questions of global risks faced by Europe over the next 10, 20 years, which can often, I think, get lost um, in the short term among a lot of administrative details and, of course, the, uh, the intense emotion uh, around, around short-term issues. What are some of the other projects that the Global Risk Network is doing at the World Economic Forum? Well, the Global Risk Network was set up in 2004 um, by the Forum and also by a number of its, its, its partners. And the real role of the, the Global Risk Network is to try and fill a gap in the market. It's to try and um, get people thinking about how we can deal with a risk landscape which we think has changed radically over the last five years, where risks are far more interconnected, um, where businesses and governments who previously thought they were perhaps protected by national borders or whatever um, from, from the consequences of risks are in fact very much exposed and try to help companies and governments understand how we can deal with this, this new environment. So we produce a report in, in Davos in 2007. We have a number of reports with different industries and also, like the European Risk Report, we're trying to roll this out on a regional basis. Charles Emerson, Global Leadership Fellow at the World Economic Forum. Thank you very much. Thank you.